So hello everybody. So this video I'm going to show you the process to implement the vSphere data protection from VMware. So basically I went to this location and uh, download my vSphere data protection. Uh, before you do that, make sure you have the VMware vCenter license with the uh, Essential Plus license. Okay, so after you got this downloaded, then you can go to your vCenter. So here's my vCenter, and uh, you find your host to implement, then you deploy find your file you just downloaded OWA file then install just uh, finish all the process and uh, so yeah it's already there next so find your database and uh, got all your network and all the IP address and everything that's it so you can implement it it will take a couple minutes maybe 10 to 15 minutes so after that then you can launch the appliance i just apply it on okay so after you power it on you will see all the information here ask you to browse to this web page to do the configuration okay so here's the login page to do the configuration. I have a little bit trouble to log in with the root user. Actually, the password is uh, change me. Like uh, you need change me. So it's not blank or not password. So change me is your initial password. Okay. So let's go through step by step. Welcome, okay. My network, okay. Anyway, give it a VDP. Okay. Give it a name, domain. IP DNS could not be resolved. Click IP. Uh, could not be resolved. Hmm. It seems complaining my DNS not found, so I'm using my DNS manager to add a VDP host name to point into my host. Okay, so. I'm going to try it again. Oh, okay, that's good. So basically, I, I need to add a DNS entry for this one. So pick up my time zone. Okay. And the new password, okay. Okay, anyway. vCenter, oh, vCenter. So here you need to give your vCenter's information. Okay, here's my vCenter's IP address, login username, and the port, so I'm going to test it. So test success next. Create storage capacity one terabyte, two terabyte. Attach existing.
to terabit, four terabit, six eight. Okay. Anyway, let's do two terabit right now. It's also support migrate from previous VDB. Next, so I got a trouble to ask me to make sure I have more than six gig memories, but I didn't configure it, and I don't have a license to live at memory. So I'm going to turn it off and uh, come back. Okay, let's stop my video right now. Okay, I'm back. I reconfigured the memory and uh, here's my address again. So, I'm going to try to change me. Okay, change me, still change me. Okay, DMS VDP. Next, next. New center. Test. to 2 terabyte again ready to complete yes 